Have you ever seen patchwork that is totally finished on both sides? Today, I'm going to show you how to hand sew this traditional seam. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. One of the seam techniques in traditional pojagi is a reversible seam technique. So that means it's patchwork that is made with only one layer of fabric and the seams are finished on both sides so that the piece is totally reversible but there's no raw edges exposed. There are a couple of different ways to stitch this but today I'm going to share with you one traditional hand stitching technique. This is a traditional Korean sewing technique that is used to make pojagi or wrapping cloths Today, fiber artists use this technique to make a lot of different items and it can be used in anything where you want reversible seams so it's one layer of fabric but the seams are totally finished. To stitch this reversible seam, you only need a few items. A pair of scissors, a ruler, a needle that will match the weight of the thread and fabric you're using, some just regular sewing thread, a hair marker, and an old piece of cardboard or notebook to protect your table surface from getting marked. Then you'll need the fabric and thread that you're going to be stitching with. I'm using a really lightweight linen. It's not quite handkerchief linen, but it's pretty lightweight. And then I'm using size 12 pearl cotton to stitch along with this. There are a lot of varieties for fabric and thread combinations. Just try and have them be similar in weight. The first thing we're going to do is baste these two fabrics together and we're going to baste them with the edges offset. So it'll be around a quarter of an inch that is left in the um, longer seam. And to baste, we're just going to use uh, regular sewing thread and this is not going to stay in it's going to be removed after so this is a great way that you can use up um, all those little odds and ends of threads that you have left over from other projects and then with large stitches we're just going to attach these right at the edge of the uh, narrower fabric there's no need to tie a knot in the basting thread. Once these two stitches have been joined, put them on something to protect your table. And now we're going to mark the seam line. So line the quarter inch line on your ruler with the edge of the lower fabric. And then with a back and forth motion, Mark that with your hair marker. You should clearly see a fold line on the fabric. Now we're going to fold the fabric back on that crease line and finger press and then fold the other fabric back the other way on the same crease line. And if it didn't get much of a crease from marking with the hair marker through the other fabric, then you can always um, go back and mark this fabric again separately. Once they're folded, we can see that the edge kind of looks like an M and that means we have everything uh, folded in the right direction. To stitch the seam, we will have a knot in our thread and we'll bring the thread up so that the knot is buried on the inside. Then we're going to stitch this with an overcast stitch that's just the same as the lined pajagi seam. We can see that the stitches are at a bit of an angle and they don't come too far down into the fabric. Once you get to the end of the piece, then you can take your thread 
to the inside and leave a little knot here, which will be the inside of the seam. So now our seam is stitched and this should be able to lay flat. So it shouldn't be really tight and it shouldn't be really loose. It should be able to lay flat. And then once we've done that, we're gonna take this and flatten it this way again. And then we're gonna stitch the other side. So again, we'll have our little mat and we'll need our ruler and our hair marker. And this time we're gonna be marking just past the edge of that inner fabric. Now we're gonna fold that down going to open this up flat and you can see that that will fold in like this. Now we're going to mark the pink fabric with our hair marker. And we're going to mark it right along the edge of that fold. And now we're gonna fold that backwards, so away from the other piece. And in this step, it's sometimes useful to use a few pins to hold everything in place. So if it's not staying, then feel free to add pins. Now that everything's pinned, we're gonna stitch this side in the same way. So leave the knot inside the seam allowance, and then we're gonna stitch with an overcast stitch. And then once you get to the end, again, you're just gonna leave a knot on the inside of the seam. So there it is, and it should lay flat. You can see that it's finished on both sides. Now the basting stitches can just be removed. They should come out pretty easily. Now you'll notice that on one side of the stitch, the stitches are diagonal and on the other side, they're straight. And when we turn it around, we see on this side, they're straight and on this side, the diagonal. So that's just the way that this stitch works. So here's your finished piece. It's totally reversible and the seam's finished on both sides. For ideas for using this seam technique in projects, Click on the link below and go to my website, EBITDA Studio, or have fun designing your own projects with this technique. For more Projagi information and tutorials, be sure to check out my website, ebitastudio.com.